Hello. I saw you creep into the mic and I didn't want to say anything. Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, hi, how are you? We are doing well. This is Heather Alexandra for Kotaku.com, a video game website about video games. I am joined in the booth. Uh, I am joined in Daddy's Basement, Daddy's Bingo. Daddy's Bingo. By uh, Tim Rogers. Welcome back to the Kotaku Goblin Bunker Network, or the KGBN. The KGBN. Where we are streaming a video game. All aboard Daddy's Van. Yes, we are, um... No, that's... No. All aboard the Bingo Van. <laughs> the Bingo Van. So we're streaming Devil May Cry 5, which we showed off a little bit of yesterday, um, pre-recorded. Now we're just going to start playing the whole thing. Um, before we start, I want to say, this is a save file where I have completed the game. Yeah, just beat the pants off which, of it, <laughs> as it were. It's true. Which means that there's maybe some abilities or some things that might pop up that... Some people with very strict definitions uh, might consider spoilers. I'm going to try and avoid those. Mm -hmm. But if you want to have your experience completely fresh, um, then don't worry. You, yeah, uh, as, as with... Like, then, like, don't watch this, but otherwise, you know. As with a lot of action games, uh, uh, the joy, the primary joy in a Devil May Cry game is... Mechanical stuff. Beating it's action stuff. Up bad guys, yeah. getting combos. So we're just gonna start. So as you play the game, you unlock many, many new ways yeah. to fight and destroy. And new difficulties, which I need to start. Son of Sparta is uh, the first one you unlock, and then I oh, think it's yeah. like another one after that. But I played Throwing Devil Hunter, which is the default early game. The little one, rough. The, the one after Son of Sparta is Sparta himself. <laughs> is it really? No. I, that, I, that'd be great. I right. haven't beaten Son of Sparta. So we're gonna start. Yeah, we're going to start the prologue. Yeah, we're just yeah gonna, so this is good. Um, just going to play. There once was a demon who saved the human world from destruction. That demon became a legend. But with his name faded from the annals of history. What, well, with time, now the world faces a new threat. Will the outcome of this battle be determined by man, by demon, or perhaps... Both? <laughs> or, or, or perhaps you. And it grew both day and night. Till it bore an apple bright. William Blake. Yeah. Everything that V <laughs> reads and quotes is like William Blake. It's very pretentious. Yeah, to hold I, eternity in, and, in, in my hand. And I kind of love it. Yeah. Uh, William Blake, also known as uh, Johnny Depp. <laughs> That's a reference to the Jim Jarmusch film Dead I, Man. I sometimes call him Willie B. Willie B. Do you know my poetry, as he asks yeah. the man before he shoots him? Anybody who hasn't seen the film Dead Man... It's got a heck of a musical score by Neil Young. So there's uh, so there's some demon business going on. This this game. So oh, hold. I just oh, I want to yeah. point out. Remember that date. That's very important. Very important. To know the timestamp. That's a joke. It's do, not. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what day it is today, Jack? <laughs> uh, King Kong. A April thirtieth. And this is Morrison, the broker. You're gonna want to remember his name and job title as well. So I I made a video about this game where I I talked about it as trash, and. And the immediate response, as predicted, was How was hundreds of people you? being like, you call it trash, and then you're going to try to tell me that you like it? It's like, yeah, I don't know. Trash isn't my word. It's what other. It's what my mom would call it. If my mom saw this, she'd be like, what is this trash you're playing? Is what she would say. And I mean, like I say in my video, I, I consider Andy Capp's hot fries cuisine. I, I genuinely think Little Caesars should have a Michelin star. I think this is art. I think, in general, our approach to Devil May Cry is that it is wonderful, cheesy, yeah. and just bizarre and fun in a way that I don't think a lot of games are anymore. Oh, um, they're just not, They no. don't really lean into this, like, really heavy, stylized kind of deal anymore. I mean, in general, maybe if it's another character action game, like Bayonetta or something, but that's about it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's... That's, that's V. He just, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt, but he just scrolls off on his floating cloud of darkness. His, uh, his flying Nimbus... So wait, who is uh, Nero's face? Now, I tweeted yesterday that Dante is clearly Jamie Lannister from Game like, of Thrones. He looks like Nikolai Costa, I forget his yeah, last name. Yeah, yeah, Costa Waldau, or whatever yeah. his name is. He, he does look very much like him, and immediately I got a bunch of replies on Twitter from people telling me, um, no, actually, his face model is this guy, get with it. And I clicked on the pic, and I know there's like live-action cutscenes in here, but... I don't have time to watch those. So one thing I just want to play the game. I'm just doing right now is I'm buying some Devil Breakers. Oh, you're using your orbs to buy Devil Breakers. Which I actually spent a ton of orbs on abilities before this stream. Oh, yeah, you're um, you're just about tapped out. 
Uh, You've got about only about 10 minutes of orb collecting of orbs in your um, orb bucket. So Punchline is one of my favorite overtures, one of the default. There's Gerbera, which is another good one. We'll talk about these as we go through it. Um, basically you, you, only have a, well, how, you only have a magazine of six? Uh, at the moment. I, I guess you didn't. the others. Yeah, um, I, I didn't really feel the need to have more than five. So Nero has lost uh, his arm, and now he has these very cool uh, prosthetic things that you can equip. Devil breakers. Before each mission kind of like um like everything else one thing i want to do actually before oh no because it goes to the main menu i wish we had um subtitles there might oh, be a yeah. way to do that when we pause the yeah game you later. can pause and turn the subtitles on i did that yeah. for some of my videos. just for people who want to follow along with the cutscenes a little bit more i mean i love the subtitle font somebody asked if i will turn on the live action cutscenes. not right now um just because i want to give you guys the normal experience but what they're talking about is there's um, uh, They're version, hilarious. Versions, versions of the cutscenes, which are like the pre-visualization things with like the motion actors and everything. Yeah. Um, they're awesome. They're very, very cool. So, in the actual game, you get, I mean, yeah, somebody like linked me to who Dante actually is, because the live-action cutscene actors are the people who did the motion capture right. for the game character for the game cutscenes. In certain games, like that's very, very clear. So, like in yeah. Devil May Cry Three, the guy who does Virgil, I think his name is Dan Southworth is he's the motion cap guy and the voice actor, mm -hmm. and it makes sense because I think before he did all that, he also was like one of the stunt people for Power Rangers or something, yeah. right? Which is just super, super cool. Oh, uh, we're playing this game in 1080p, no HDR, and it still looks incredible. Uh, I'm just kind of clowning because it's like the opening fight. It's not gonna matter much, but I guess I, I love the beautiful materials on the ground, the shininess. Just how every there's just it's just the game is full of just gross looking stuff that is like firing on all cylinders graphically. So what you've got there, you've got that uh, that grappling hook ability, which you target with the lock on, and then you press the yeah uh, the close range the the devil breaker button, right? And you can just grab and pull any enemy into you. And when we start to get some more enemies, I'll start to do more combos and things like that. But so Nero becomes like when, as far as close quarters combat is concerned, he's like he's this this cool, super awesome. He's, yeah, uh, he's actually, I think, for me, the character I have the most fun playing as, just because of like how furious it is. Yeah. Um, even though Dante has like everything, which is cool too. So like, they're all good. So like the technically Nero is. Is is a very aggro character. I mean, so is uh, so is Dante, but Nero is all about closing closing distance. So he has those good dash moves that you're using, and so he's all about clo like closing distance, getting in close to an enemy. But not only not being satisfied with his feet to get him close to enemies, but also moving toward them and pulling them toward him at the same time, and it becomes this really sticky rubber bandy sort of satisfying dance. So I really love playing as him. Yeah, I'm a uh, I'm not rusty in in any sense, but I just I'm not. This is the prologue mission does not. Uh, you don't get a lot of chance to do stuff. Yeah, it doesn't afford you uh, very exciting opportunities to v's, really rip stuff up. That's V's bird Griffin. He like he's he, got like a what kind a of little, an accent is that? He's got almost like a weird forced pseudo Jersey thing. He's got a foul mouth. Get it? Yeah. He's a bird. Hey. Hey, bam. I'm a Boyd. B -b bam. I'm a Boyd. So Dante is fighting a very big demon dude. And oh, you mean Urizen? Urizen. And uh, oh, there's the uh, there's that classic combo that we all love. So in order to keep get your combo chain going up, for anybody who is watching this, keep in mind we're, we're Kotaku.com. We have a couple million viewers of such, right? Something like that. Readers, a couple million, right? Not everybody watching this is a hardcore Devil May Cry fan. I feel it's safe to assume. No. So, I I find it fitting to mention a little bit of uh, a little bit of top level stuff. Yeah. So let's see if I can sneak in the subtitles now. Yeah. This so this boss fight is a cinematic. You're supposed to lose fight. There's there's a photo mode that I actually don't think is uh, that good. Yeah, it's it's not a good photo mode. Um, Man, I had to crank the yeah, analog uh, stick yeah, language, speed all yeah. the way up. So when I play games for work, because I need to take a lot of um, screenshots, you take the you turn I them take off. the subtitles off. Um, They're actually off by default in Double May Cry yeah. Five for um, some reason. You got to put them on, which for me is great because I just need like I need screenshots and footage and stuff all the time that doesn't have like tons of shit at the bottom. Well, there's Kingslayer. There he is. Yeah, this is yours, and he's big, he's blue, he's kind of an asshole. 
There's a girl with a gun and another girl face down. That's uh, Lady and Trish, respectively. L and T. They're the DLT They're together. Good. Yeah. Dante, Lady, and Trish. Dante, Lady, and Trish. So many of these bosses have these tentacles with these blue uh, diamond-shaped yeah. uh, protuberances on the end that you... So you can do some decent like initial combos in this fight, but honestly, the goal of this fight is just to get beat up. Uh, yeah. It's one of those story missions. Oh, God, his sword's so good, though. Oh, yeah, the motorcycle blade. You can actually do that as a skill. Um, which yeah. I'm a... a uh, you can actually, if you rev right as you hit somebody, it it it'll boost you up pretty hard. You start, yeah. I guess they they actually, the cutscene does have the effect of revving you for real. Yeah. Um. All all of these like default years in fights are just kind of like, I don't know. You can do some cool stuff, but it's like I might as well just get my butt handed to me. To I mean, get, look at this. Get, I bet you the speedrun strat is just like. I mean, look at this big weird, just giant. Crystal hamburger pachinko explosion particle orchestra fireworks happening here. It's a lot. It's just a whole lot of stuff. And in the 4K HDR 60 FPS, this looks like so good. It yeah. looks like so ridiculously good. There's a reason that they released the demo on the Xbox One first. Yeah, first because uh, the Xbox One is the good one. I actually broke a double breaker there. Oh, you busted it. At this point, it. you actually wouldn't even. You, yeah, they they don't they don't actually let you have them until you begin the actual first chapter. You can of the charge game. up your bullets and do some cool stuff. Yeah, you hold the hold the shoot button down to charge a bullet. In order to build up that combo meter, which uh, they are very stingily letting you have here, uh, you have to like change your attacks. So if you're using like the sword, you, you then have to like maybe use the gun, maybe use the devil breaker. You have to like switch around between things. I'm just kind of, I don't really care much about this fight because I think honestly I'm supposed to actually get my health down to zero. So let's just get him. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to die. Yeah, there it is. You can, you can squirm all you want, but yeah. you'll still die here because that guy doesn't take any damage. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. Nero is hurt. His hair is darker now. Well, At least it looks darker because blood. of the blood. It's blood, buddy. There's a I, I describe this guy as Adam Driver. Somebody Adam poured Driver. somebody poured half of Adam Driver out on the supermarket floor, and then put him back on the shelf. You know this guy's evil because he's just like slumping on his throne. Yeah, a very casual, relaxed uh, psycho deity. Round two. Kingslayer, man, man, Dante's so old now. It's oh, weird. <laughs> he turns into his Super yeah, Sentai he does, demon. Uh, some devil good old trigger. Devil trigger. Yeah, he's a. Uh, oh man, heck of a shot, right there. One perfect shot. Twitter. See, so you put you put that shot in like a in like a tweet, like as a GIF or something. Somebody's gonna be like, is that a spoiler? Right. Yeah. But yeah, it's a. Yeah. Uh, I mean, is that a spoiler? That he turns into that, then he devil triggers and hits that guy with his sword. Shit does not. Go well for the good guys at first, which is a good enough setup as any. He is far stronger than we could have ever imagined. Yes. Uh, uh, Nero's big thing is. He uh, wants uh, Dante to respect him. To really acknowledge him. He's dealing with that lost arm. He's dealing with all this defeat. He gets angry, man. He gets angry. And I like I like V's character. V is. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but V V's. He's a very frail person. Yeah. Um, He's we'll, very physically weak. We'll hopefully get to his segments because his segments are all about commanding monsters to fight for you, which is really, really cool. If there were ever a Pokemon action game that made by Platinum it. Games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why, why, when is Platinum going to make a Pokemon action game? Soon. Right. Oh, oh you God. know it's bad because oh. he broke, uh, what is that rebellion that he broke? Yeah, he shattered it into Bullshit. nothing. Spoiler. Uh, what if I just say that after everything? No, spoiler. Uh, look at those perfectly rendered teeth. You know, I asked the producer oh, <laughs> of so dumb. I love it. Resident Evil 7 how they do very perfect teeth, and he told me that, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I trust it, that they use phot uh, photogrammetry even for the teeth. That's cool. Which is wild, which means that they're scanning those in like super high detail. Dentists have a lot of technology now for when it comes to uh, 
Yeah. Assessing the geometry of like an actual mouth. So that's just uh, V chilling there on his. Uh, so he's devil triggered right now. On his golem bud. Yeah, his golem buddy. Reminds me of the canceled caviar game Cry On. Cry On. Starring a little girl named Sally and her golem Boggle. Which was supposed to be. I was privy to some inside info on that game. It looked like it was going to be just the best. Yeah, so the, the plot's kind of nonsense. What's happening here is the bad guy wants to make this giant demon tree and yeah. then kill enough people and have, like, have enough blood happen that a fruit forms and he eats the fruit and becomes like the super cool demon god. We can do. Um, yeah, till it bears an apple bright. <laughs> doesn't matter, but yeah, till it bears the apple bright, like the quote. Yeah, it would have been, uh, been pretty good if he would have grown that fruit, but... Spoilers. He's gonna get trounced. We're to beat him up. By uh presumably by right. just the dynamic trio of Dante, Nero, and the mysterious V. The mysterious V. So I bet you my rank on this one, just because we're clowning right now, is gonna be like a B, a. a B or something. It's gonna be A. It's gonna be A. Really? You think so? Yeah. No. Oh wow, what the heck? Yeah, I told you. Well, never mind. I thought it was gonna be an A. No, you you play enough and I don't know the difference between A and uh or between A and B, but I know the difference between an A and an S, if that makes sense. One is like awesome. One is like. Sp- well, I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I know it like looking at the oh, okay, the, okay. the action. Oh, okay, that's what you mean. It's gonna be hard. To, can you get a triple S on that? On that, I mean, probably if you're like going really ham on yours in. Yeah. Um. Maybe you have to kill him. But at the start of the game, like two. So my ranks at the start of the game right now are mostly A's, and then I start getting into the S ranks and stuff because at first you mm-hmm. just don't have enough abilities to really get the variety in your combos. Yeah, you have to unlock like a lot necessary. of stuff before so you can. So I'm really... actually writing tips for this game. Oh, remember that. Four twenty four. <laughs> one month later, fifteen June. Yeah, but but I'm writing tips for this game, and one of the things I recommend is like don't spend your initial red orbs on like health even though maybe that'll help you if you're new to these games. Spend them on combos so that you can build up your um, your style points. Yeah, having combos is the number one. Yeah, it's it's really important. And, you know, you'll hear a lot of people describe the combat in games like Devil May Cry or Bayonetta as uh, feeling like playing a musical instrument. Yeah, you slowly... And it's like, yeah, yeah, that is a, a tired analogy. However... I understand it. Yeah, it's it's very real. You start to you start plucking a little bit at first, and then eventually you're you're making songs. Devil May Cry is uh, one of the most guitar-like video games I've ever played. It's very guitar-like. It's really based on timing in a lot of ways too, which is um, kind of nice. So this is Nero again, and then his mechanic buddy gal Nico. Yeah, Nico, who is. Uh, has a southern accent, is there. a girl, wears glasses, <laughs> smokes. has tattoos, smokes cigarettes. There's just, uh, they just clicked a checkbox on a lot of adjectives so, on her. So and like, she's great. This opening, some of what's happening here stylistically, like the way that, so there's, they're going to get tossed in the air and a bunch of stuff is going to happen. It yeah. reminds me so much of um, DMC um, insofar as I think, even though this game is like a true proper Devil May Cry sequel. It's that, a like, real one, yeah. Talk about it. Um, oh! I think in a lot of ways, uh, you know, Hideaki Itsuno and those folks really took some lessons from the Ninja Theory game in terms of how they want to really present this universe, and you start to see it in some of these cutscenes. I think there's there's a there's a healthy balance between that, and then there's also just sheer Devil May Cry three goofiness. Right. Like oh, this man. is like a lot of the action in these cutscenes, like the way that van was moving, it was like very ropey. It looked like yeah. the frames were like cranked, like it was going like twelve FPS, like like in like an old This shit's fucking great. Fast motion action scene from a movie, like a Chinese movie. I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned Devil May Cry three because that has one of my favorite cutscenes. It has a lot of cutscenes that I think are great, but the first uh, cutscene with Dante when the demons show up and one of the things he does is he flips the pool table so all the yeah. cue balls fall. Uh huh. And he shoots the he, so he all the balls fall and he <laughs> shoots the cue ball with his gun. Yeah. And it knocks the rest of the of oh like here we the go pocket, right here the pocket balls into like the demons. It's fucking awesome. But like right yeah, there. look at look at kind of so how, when like, I this w- when I when I called this game trash in my video this is kind of uh, what i'm talking about yeah so this is what i mean uh i i actually specifically referenced uh the famous pauline kale quote that movies are so right seldom great art that if we cannot appreciate great trash there's no reason yeah. to be interested in movies and the example that she gives in her essay is you can watch the worst movie in the world and then come out of it loving it 
because every couple of minutes there's this the example she gives is a cowboy lining himself up and taking down three bad guys with a single bullet she wrote this in 1969 long before devil may cry devil may cry is just a game made up out of those lol moments that make you come out of something thinking that owned and speaking of nicholas coster oh, oh my god i really wish i knew how to pronounce his name kingslayer speaking of kingslayer he starred in a movie called gods of egypt he did which i love bananas i love that movie so much um and yeah. uh but also so, but like not to interrupt too much but like talking about trash too one of the things i say in my review is like so every time you get a good enough combo in this game devil trigger starts playing which is the song that you just i love that there. stupid song um, i fully don't think oh that six my god 99 <laughs> so i don't think devil trigger is like a good song right but every time it starts playing i lose my shit because first off it's nice to be rewarded by doing good you combos rap and cool, getting something. As they say. But it's also like, it fits the feel of the game. So like, even if I'm like, oh, this song's not really that great. Like when it comes on, I'm still like, yeah, like what the hell? Let's go. It's awesome. It's like a real uh, sort of a Bayonetta feeling. Yeah, uh, it's really of just, good. Uh, Bayonetta just overloading and just blowing your hair back with uh, this stupid, dense, lush music. It's just a lush experience. Like Devil Trigger's so bonkers. Um... Yeah, I, I love it. Five o two a.m. But I'm never like, oh, this is brilliant. Right? It's like, it's popcorn. It's bubblegum. What's going on? It's it's a popcorn video game. I think popcorn is art. Again, Little Caesars deserves a Michelin star. Yeah, so we'll start to get into more combat, and I'll start to hopefully get a little bit more expressive than we were in that uh, prologue segment. Yeah. So one of the great things about this game is, uh, uh, you you said in your review. You're not going to get one from me. He immediately starts by saying he's not going to hug a guy. That reminds me a lot of God Hand, where um, Gene. Gene, at the very beginning of the game, tells his 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 lady companion that uh, the bad guys, the ugly bad guys, are cuter than her. She's like, oh, those guys want to... You should fight them. And he's like, they're cuter than you. And it's like, why did he say that? I love it. That's weird trash that I love. Yeah. Him telling that guy he's not going to give him a hug. Because he, he obviously only has one arm. Uh, first of all, you can hug somebody with one arm. Pretty easy. Uh, but, you know, I, I love it. I really like Nero in this game. Yeah, I love this dumb guy. He's uh, a ninja turtle. I think I think his implementation in uh, Devil May Cry 4 was a little bit rough because he felt, I mean, kind of very intentionally. It was just like a Dante knockoff. Do you remember the fans being uh, feel, feeling betrayed that, that that there was a guy other than Dante on the, like, yes, on the promotional art before but, the game came out? But man, especially in this game, he's he's grown on me in a lot of ways. So I stock up on Punchline a lot because I think it's just a really good it's fun. devil breaker. Yeah, they're all like you get to you get to design a little part of the game experience by right. choosing what which ones of these weapons you have. And it's also really good for chumps like me, especially when I'm streaming, because um, it kind of gets your combo going up a little bit automatically when you toss out that rocket punch and it starts darting around. Yeah, yeah. And then anytime you want to, you can surf on it like we did a little bit earlier, which is just, I think, one of my favorite things to do in a video game now. That's a weird, chill thing to do. It's real fun. If you time it right, you can do, like, kickflip tricks and, like, fuck people up. Yeah. So that's all about just yanking the guy toward you. But then you can. You can launch that punchline punch. Oh, I and love you know, it. If you time it right, you get different um, sort of slashes, which is why I recommend to people like, hey, just unlock different basic combos. So and the then one, vary it up. the one thing stylistically about Devil May Cry that I will say, I don't like, have never liked, and will never like, What's that? is they always fade to black for a cutscene and then fade back up. And it's really, really old school video gaming and jarring. Here's where she smokes the cigarette. Real pro at smacking demons around. I don't know what her accent is supposed to be, but I love it. Like, uh, so it's like the way the way the cutscenes will like the a the game action quickly fades to black and then fades back up into a cutscene. Yeah. It's like I really wish it would just do. I don't just know. You, you played Kingdom Hearts like three. Or like a transition type thing. Kingdom Hearts three does just a cut. Yeah. And it's it's I think. Some people in chat, by the way. Look at that. Look at that. Some people in chat, by the way, are talking about Raiden from. Uh, Resident Metal Gear. <laughs> I said Resident Evil. Metal Gear Solid two. Playing a Capcom game. Yeah. And uh, so the thing about Raiden is that first off he is. Uh, 
Well, Raiden was a surprise. Right. Nero wasn't a surprise. Um, but people are talking like, is he ever going to be cool or anything? First off, uh, Raiden is the best thing that happened to Metal Gear Solid, I think. Raiden's um, pretty cool in uh, uh, Metal Gear Rise. And first off, Metal Gear Rising, one of my favorite games. I literally wrote a book about it. You can look it up on iTunes and other bookstores. Um, but also, like, the point of Raiden was not to be cool. He was supposed to be making fun of uh, all of us. So, I don't know. Raiden doesn't ever need to be yeah, I think Raiden already is cool. There was that part late in uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 where you're like watching uh, watching Raiden have a ninja fight. Yeah. And you're just like... Beating up on Vamp. And you're just like, I wish I was doing that. Yeah. I wish I was having a ninja fight. All right, so let's, let's try and get a little bit more expressive here. The opening levels are just kind of tame because they're trying to teach you a bunch of stuff. Yeah. This is the ragtime. We can grab that. It slows down enemies. You don't need to attack all these tentacles either. No, you just run right by them. You don't, they're not really helpful to the combo and they give you like 20 orbs. Yeah, they die in like two heads. Oh, here's big boy, a Clyphot root. It's a blood slicked vegetation, not a blood slicked vegetarian. This is like their way of telling you about one of their major lock and key mechanisms, which is- Oh, taking down the roots. Taking down the roots that will be blocking your path. Oh yeah. Um, because a lot of this game still tends to be um, channeling some of that older design, which is like break the thing to open the thing or find like... I gotta say, I kind of... I I talked a tiny bit of smack about the lock and key level design in my video. And that's okay. Um, it's much, much better here than it has been in the past. It's... There's... I don't know, Devil May Cry 3 had some straight up parts where you just... Uh, I don't Where like the level design was such a buzzkill. Fighting this thing. Hey, this thing sucks. Cause I like I don't know. We had. Yeah, this it's 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 such a kindergarten boss. It's like, it's not a real boss. We had it's a, a video formality. where like I was doing good combos and I just all these opening bosses are just getting hit by stupid shit. Yeah. And I just don't like it. Maybe you should be playing on an elite controller with your lock on on the uh, on the back paddle. <sighs> So and some people are gonna just be like, "That's good. Uh, that's good for my fingers. I love having the, uh, I love having lock on on a rear paddle. That's how I play Dark Souls as well. I have my lock on and my evade, uh, lock on and evade, both on a rear paddle. I just don't like fighting these roots. They're not fun. Yeah, but he's gonna be dead real soon. Die soon. So one one thing that's cool about this game is uh, when you write a review and you say in your little info box that you played for 14 hours to beat the main game, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? You said yeah. it was about 14 hours. And then you're not going to see anybody in the comments who says, 14 hours for $60, oh, <laughs> is clearly a poser who has no interest in the game. It should and also is, be, is not going to play it and so has never played one. It should also be very, very clear when I say 14 hours to complete this game. Yeah. I fucking... Replayed so many chapters to get yeah, yeah. the ranks I wanted, even during like. So one of the tips I'm going to write, my advice is, man, just play through this game for the story. Don't worry about your rank. Just do shit and then play through for style again. But for me, I was really obsessed with. I want an A rank. I want an S rank. I want to do better on that boss. So I would go back and I would replay those bosses. And if that's how you play it, then you end up with yeah. you know, uh, you know, a 12 to 14 hour game. I think. Yeah. Otherwise, well, I mean, it's going to be like six to to eight maybe i'm talking about the hypothetical people who say that six to eight hours or even 14 no, hours know, is not I enough i know but right? what i'm saying i want those people to also know that a lot that when yeah I write because it's important to me as a reviewer that when i write that it's in context yeah that people know that it's like well the the point i was going to make was uh if, if you think 14 hours is not enough of this game you're a noob because <laughs> if you want to really enjoy a devil may cry game it's all about replaying the stages for like a hundred hours yeah i'm gonna be right? playing this game a lot for yeah. a long time i'm gonna keep this locked and loaded on my xbox i i saved it to the xbox hard drive itself not to my external drive because it loads slightly faster uh at least uh that's what people tell me just because i know this is never gonna leave my xbox and i'm gonna play this a lot it's good it's just luxury action, luxurious action. 
Ooh, who's this creepy dude? So this game is also out on PC, and some people are asking, is this game Something good like played on a mouse and keyboard? Do not know, <laughs> but I don't know why you would want to play a game like this on a mouse and key. I mean, I love playing games on mouses and keyboards, as, uh, but I don't, I don't know about this one. Because, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, of course not, no. Uh, so I, don't, he, I don't understand how it could be good at all. He just got his arm yanked uh, the gosh off. Yeah, guy ripped his arm off. Well, first his arm turned into some weird devil thing. I mean, that's... And then he ripped it off. If you are familiar with Devil May Cry 4, he, yeah. has, he has a right arm that can do... Like his a, demon arm. Like a demon trigger, devil trigger type deal. Now his arm is gone. But given that this is quite a supernatural world, who would be surprised if he got it back someday? I don't know. That's I'm right. just saying. His arm is also technically the Yamato sword, which yeah. used to belong to... The um, guy from Onimusha. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> I was gonna say Virgil from uh, Devil May Cry Three. Where is Virgil these days? Don't know. <laughs> I don't know where he is either. <laughs> who could who, say? Who is the mysterious V though? Like, where did he come from? Oh, I know, but I can't tell you. Oh, okay. Well, I know as well, so I'm not I mean, gonna tell anybody. I think either. we both we both know what his deal is. Remember, Virgil is spelled V E R G I L. Virgil. 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 You gotta love that guy, actually, Virgil. Wait, no, you don't really have to. No, he's kind of an asshole. Pardon my language. Mm-hmm. He he he's kind of he's kind of a grump. He's just got he, he has an attitude. That's the most sad boy face I've ever seen. <laughs> on a and then boom, it shatters. Character. He gets shot yeah, in the yeah. face, and it turns out he was made of glass all along. Yeah, yeah, very funny. S rank. For that, oh. really? Jeez. That's I thought I was doing terrible. That's a baby level, though. There's, like, nothing in that level. Yeah, so, like, I guess that's one of the things that I want to tell people, too, is, like, even if you do shitty on a boss, ride it out and see. There's 20 missions. You got 20 missions in this game. Because uh, the game's really ranking you to see if you're doing enough varied combos or, like... It's all about va it, uh, variating your combos, yeah. Grasping your, like, how well you got the mechanics going. Oh, it's 5.32 a.m. now. And if you want those high-level play things, you can eventually learn. Like, I can't wait to play through this on the harder mode and, like, really start to crack it open. You will be, son of Sparta, Dante. I want more of those smoking sexy styles. Oh, she's going to show you some check it out. I love this, uh, this cutscene. This, like, is a little rendered cutscene just to introduce this text. This little letter. He's like, oh, I met Dante. The first time I met Dante, he actually went by a different name. Tony Redgrave. Tony Redgrave. Tony Redgrave? Redgrave City? Is that a coincidence? Because that's where the the um, game takes place in a city called Redgra Redgrave City. Redgrave. Anybody ever play that game, uh, Guilty Grave? That's a joke. And this is when they also normally would start to introduce the idea of... Um, doing stuff with Nico before the mission to like buy items and double breakers and things like that but we don't actually need to do that right now someone in the chat pointed out that Virgil is not the true heir to the Yamato that's a, something that yes we, we are negligent in not expressing that Let's, <laughs> is that true? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not up on my uh, Devil May Cry lore I you, love you the series the but I don't know is it supposed to be Dante the whole time? it's somebody I, I don't want to spoil it I mean, at the end of uh, DMC Four, he uh, Dante gives it. Uh, uh, this looks like a, like a like a shopping arcade in like West Tokyo yeah. that I used to go to. Uh, so one of the things that we showed off in our own video was oh, such good graphics. You can rev up your sword, which I did terribly in the video, and you can do a little bit better here. Um, just to show you the opening of that, there's also an ability you get called X Act, which is mm -hmm. if you time it after you do a slash, a little bit like you're doing a gun blade. Yeah. Um, it'll charge up at least one tier of it. You can upgrade that so it eventually charges up your whole sword. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's very good to Super, have. super good. I'm not great at some of that timing stuff. It's the same reason why, like, when, you, you know, you get to play as Dante, I've never been good um, with so, Royal Guard. Devil May Cry games give you, uh, I mean, again, the, the way that combo meter, for people who don't realize that, see, the game's not calling you crazy. It's saying your combo is crazy. Now it's saying your combo is uh, the letter B. And it just adds up to A, and then S, then SS, then SSS. So the, the, you get the, that number, in, that letter rank increased as you variate your combos and do different types of things. So that's why every character has a whole bunch of different actions. You could theoretically kill all these enemies using just the sword moves, but that wouldn't get your combo. 
Oh, you need to switch. You gotta do like, so I mean, you could in theory, so I'm gonna slow down and probably fuck up my score, but you could in theory start doing like a couple of different yeah. combos, but you see like, so now you see the A start to go down. Yeah, you can see it fading. Now it's a, you're back down to B. Because I just took some hits. Um, so just to explain how the If you get hit, it goes works. down pretty much instantly. And the more the more strongly reverberating those sound waves are in the background, the more uh, the more uh, strong or fresh the rank is. And I mean that's really it. You can numbskull hack and slash your way through the game on the low difficulty, and then tell people, uh, "Yeah, it was cool," uh, or you can uh, really appreciate it. Right. You um. can you can buy the Little Caesars hot and ready pizza and eat it standing up in the parking lot, or you can take it home. And you can put some macaroni and cheese on it. And so, like, with style things, it's just about, like, keeping up the pressure in, in oh, terms yeah. of a lot of things. So, like, my pausing there to show you the meter going down, just, like, I could have probably gotten S there. And instead, it's just, like... Well, let's try to get an S here. I believe this is a somewhat lengthy fight. Yeah, it's just, like, no, dude. Like, if you don't keep up your momentum, then... I mean, you can get it back once you start getting... Especially if you're Dante and you have access to, like, a bajillion weapons. See, that's a, that was a really short, like, a 10-second cutscene there. Right. But and it was one, still one, exciting. One thing I didn't do, too, is taunting, which is, like... Yeah. Crazy combo now. A classic Devil May Cry maneuver is to launch the enemy into the air. When Shinji Mikami first uh, presented the idea of Devil May Cry at a press conference in Tokyo, uh, he, like, mimed what the action is like. He's like, you can hit things into the air with your sword and then shoot them with two guns, and they'll be juggled by your bullets. And he's, like, miming it with his full body. And there was, like, an interpreter translating into English for the benefit of the English-speaking audience. And uh, she was really confused, and it was really funny. One of those legendary press conference moments. At which he unveiled the buzz phrase, stylish hard action. Which is still, to this day, considered the genre of Devil May Cry in Japan. On the back of the box, there's a little blank for genre. Oh, taunting, taunting, to increase style points. Yeah, to get a, see if I could sneak up to that double S at the end. Got a dub S. Not to be confused with the uh, historical. Yeah, so I mean, like, anybody who's, like, a real big Devil May Cry tech head will be like, that was really super sloppy, but also it's like, I don't know, it's it's lenient enough, but also the gameplay is expressive enough that you can find those moments to be like, I'll taunt here and I'll actually, like, get an extra thing or whatever. You yeah. Know, find uh, Devil Breakers in the world. So here, well. here we're inside of an interior yeah. zone where you're going to get a little bit of the lock and key exploration. And I've got to say... When I first got in here, it was, you know, my first night with the game. I just started playing. I was I was ready to feel depressed at having to, like, look for MacGuffins. Right. But then... I think the original games, like, really leaned into it a little oh, bit more. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, you ain't kidding. Devil May Cry 1 was, like, MacGuffin City. Devil May Cry 3, which had such brilliant combat, then had these just complete buzz-killing, like walk around and look for the right thing. But this, I was very glad that this lock and key segment was so short. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, this one is like the example. I think but. a lot of that too is because of the ways that, you know, um, portions of the original Devil May Cry were conceived as really Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this. Stuff. Look at this nonsense. What is this? I don't, I don't even want to talk about what that is. Uh, somebody was asking what I picked up. I picked up another Devil Breaker, so I picked up another punchline, which was mm -hmm. the one that I wrote around like on the, that was like a missile and stuff. Um, you have a magazine of six. You only took like, how many did you take into the level? Because you're always like, accounting for ones you like might find. three or something. Um, yeah, so I, I like this interior exploration segment. There's some random enemies like scattered at like some dead ends for you. Yeah. Um, and then it's like, you're just like looking. It, it doesn't really feel like egregious lock and key level design and the game never really has yeah, it, that it guides you to it pretty quick there are a couple times where like maybe there are vines you need to find and they're yeah, not um, you have to like look or follow them or hit them underground or there was a part where we in our combat video yesterday where we had to look for a route that was underground that I actually cut out of the video so you can see like you can taunt in the air too so like see how I did that with my sword which was like oh you don't have to tell me I can taunt in the air because I taunt in the air all the time 
And it's a joke I didn't even finish thinking about. Sorry. It was, I was going to say something about being on an airplane and tweeting at people. Oh, man, he puts his hood up yeah, and crosses his arms. Yeah, I'm just trying to do a couple of the taunts. Oh, my God. Oh, hurt him. I just Flying like on the that. rocket. I just like doing this. Yeah, it gets kind of silly. Oh, Savage combo. Is that a reference to the Amiga game, Savage? We'll never know. Um, but, yeah, so I'm playing around. So one thing I didn't really show off in the... Um, and the gameplay video we did was like some of those taunts. Which Nobody think, in this which hotel. Really fun. Nobody in this hotel knows how to make a bed. Yeah, but once you start knowing how to mix things up a little bit, it's it's pretty good. Did we grab the seed there? Yeah, you got it. You got it. I was like, I can't remember. I was too grabbing busy. it is what starts the battle. I was too busy being uh, super uh, fly. So basically, you feed a nidhog hatchling to a clifot root, and yeah. it lets you continue through lets you go the through. level. Somebody's telling a couple of cool little tech things there, too. If you, like, rev your sword in the air during the air taunt, you can mm. rev it up, like, even more. There's all these little tech. That's an ability that costs, like, 8,000 orbs. <laughs> um, like, there's literally. all these little... So it's like... Let's get airport. I don't know. I can't even figure it out sometimes. I'm, like, I've never been good on timing. So I was saying before... Too. Um, it's one of the reasons I'm never good playing as Royal Guard on Dante, and I just do like Swordmaster and other, other things. Yeah, again, the game gives you all sorts of options for how. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways like for, for for figuring out how you want to play. This is telling you how to do secret missions, which oh, is yeah. if you find certain areas in the game. Oh, do you want to do instance, this one? Um, I think I've already yeah. unlocked it, so I don't know if I can. Oh my god! Um, but if you look at them in the right, yeah, so like there, I've triggered it, and I can go do it if I want. But I kind of to see if we can get us forward and maybe see a little bit of V. Um, Those secret missions are real good. Yeah, th I like them a lot. Yeah, they're I mean, there's probably somebody in the chat who would say unironically, they're the best part of the game. Because it's just solid fighting. You know those like battle portal zones in Kingdom Hearts 3 where you can do the uh, you go into the arena and you just fight monsters? Those kind of sucked in Kingdom Hearts 3, I gotta say. They weren't hard enough. Devil May Cry brings it back. Playing Devil May Cry 5 right after playing Kingdom Hearts 3 is kind of a fun experience. Because they really are similar. And Devil May Cry really is, like, a real action game. So if I charge up my Devil Breaker here to... Uh, actually, is there oh, enough time for it? You've got your song playing. Oh, I actually lost it. That's why. Uh, so the other one I had there was Gerbera, which is usually you can use it to like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're almost you almost got a double. You're gonna get that double. Punch him. Oh, oh taunt him. Yeah. Okay, this this thing's gonna pop into a double. Oh, oh, I lost it. Oh well. Again, everybody, this is the brand new Devil May Cry game. It has been 11 years since a Devil May Cry game came out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's it's okay for a person who plays hundreds of video games a year to uh, not be. Uh, I mean, we're still not be getting triple S, right? Still, That's what I kept telling myself while I played through the game. I mean, I don't know. it's like it's fine, and then um, we're just gonna keep on going. I wish I. So what I wanted to do there was with Gerbera, if you charge it up, it actually does like this fucky, freaky sword beam thing. From yeah, I like the charged up Gerbera. How did those things hit me? Yeah, those guys suck. You know what? I, I don't really like uh, Nero's gun. It's not good, so I'm trying to... Nero has a lot of... His dash moves are good. His like back forward dash is really good as well. His bob and weave. His table hopper move is good. Which is his uh, his dodge. His last second dodge, which yeah. Which I kind of did there, but not really. So it's like, it's hard to do because I'm not locked onto an enemy, but you can do a last little second dodge thing. I love dodging. Uh, Nero's gun, you can do a couple things with it. You can charge up, and as your arm charge starts to grow, you can do a charge attack, but if you hold it down completely, um, you do a different type of charge. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So there's things you can do with it, um, but it's not necessarily the most uh, robust. When I when I talk about games having stick shift action design, it's like Devil May Cry is like the elementary example of that. It's all about remembering like what gear you're in, yeah. you know. There's a uh, several in-game mechanical equivalents of a clutch. There's a there's a couple other 
techniques that I could be doing with Nero right now that I'm not, which we showed off some of it in our, um, in our kind of like preview video, but, um, someone in the chat is saying the real tech and with guns and DMC is to map it to a shoulder button. Oh, which no, ones are these? you map it to a rear paddle, a rear paddle That's on, where your, I... on your Xbox elite controllers. Yeah. I'm using three paddles with, uh, this game. I've been using three. I, I use, I usually use two. Um, I, I, there's no video game that makes me use all four. I don't have a single game that off the top of my head where I use all four paddles. But so, with this one, I have three. I, uh, Helter Skelter is like pretty wild. Uh, I don't like these enemies, or I don't like fighting them in this location. But if you, so I'm just going to show off some stuff, so I don't really. Yeah, you're in a real kill oh, box here. I broke here. my, uh. You got no breakers, yeah. You broke your breakers. They're devil breakers because they break devils, and they're also demonic, and they break. Yeah. So, and they're also made up of fragments of demons, if I'm understanding the story correct. Maybe. Well, because when every time you kill a boss, uh, uh, your, uh, Nero's girlfriend, or uh, whoever she is, Nico, the mysterious Nico. The mysterious Nico. She, uh, she's always like, hey, give me that piece of that demon, and you always pick up like a piece of a demon right. and give it to her. And she says, I'm going to make something good out of this. I'm yeah, every time you every some, time you beat a boss, they're like. I, I'm gonna make some good out of this. Um, I wonder if we should actually just switch directly to the. After this. After this. <clears throat> little mission. This little brouhaha. I had a little. Uh, <clears throat> had to clear my throat there. Actually, I think there's a boss coming up, and I think I'm bad against this boss. Uh, oh, this big old this uh, big, big old, troll boy. Big I like old, this guy. Big, big old honking dude. Um, yeah. Oh, I should have shown the cutscene. So oh, whenever yeah, you the, need to, you can call Nico. And, uh, oh, I love this. No such thing as too love that sound. Very yeah. good sound. Bing, bing, bing. It's very, very good. The shopping music is incredible. Yeah. Um. The whole game should just have music like this. That's a joke. I love the stupid butthole guitar music. You know, I called it butt rock in my review, and some people did not. They were not familiar with that term, so they were all like, "What does that even mean?" Some young children did not understand what butt rock was. Yeah. Just picture, just picture in your head any Crush 40 song from the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Nobody understands what I mean when I say uh, uh, butthole guitar. Yeah, so let's let's like, uh, let's do this boss, and then let's um, let's do the thing as we. This will be a bit of a longer stream by our standards, <laughs> um, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, let's just keep crushing it. Uh, I hope folks are like you know being. Being forgetful in terms of the fact that like we're playing it kind of loose here. Oh, very good. Classic Devil May Cry sense of humor there. That is the classic Devil May Cry sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Somebody call a doctor. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love it. It's like that was a joke that somebody wrote, and then they're like, someone was like, "What does that mean?" And the translator's like, what does that mean? And then the voice actor's like, I don't, why is he saying somebody call a doctor? Because yeah. uh, it was an ambulance, I guess. Yeah, uh, this is I don't like know. Your, uh, your first boss, big old dude. Did you snack on him? Well, he's asking if he snacked on him. All casual. Which is good. Yeah, this game's wild. It's weird. I love it. I hope people have been enjoying uh, this whole stream, this whole situation. I think we've been keeping it pretty chill. Oh my god, he's just so hanging out. A lot of people talking about Capcom putting out a lot of good games. They did, they've did. they done pretty good. Um, even things that like I love, but still I think I question sometimes. Like I like the Resident Evil 2 remake, but I don't know. Sometimes it feels a little triple A-E in certain ways, but it's like I think oh, in yeah. general they've been really um, pushing into some nice territory with their properties. I describe what they're doing is, as... Uh, they're uh, they're putting their money where the money is. Yeah, I miss some of that classic Capcom. I guess is like what I'm saying, but I also understand that it's almost like 2020. So you know. As I was saying in my video, uh, I I perceived one of the big questions about Devil May Cry 5. Even after the demo, the demo should have told everybody what this game is all about. Like there were people being like, "Hey, do you do parties?" Okay, that's like. That's like a joke straight out of like Ninja Turtles. This guy looks like he's the Taurus demon from <laughs> Dark Souls. You see the long fade to black. Because like this arena right here makes me think of that. Yeah, this arena kind of 
is simplistic. Yeah, this guy is, he's not that hard, but he's fun. He's just kind of your big buddy sort of boss. But people, uh, like anyone curious as to whether or not this is a real Devil May Cry game. Yeah, man. Is Devil, is Devil May Cry back? Where did it go? Devil May Cry 4 is pretty much a one-player sport. Devil May Cry 3, same thing. Didn't go anywhere. These games are evergreen. And this is the latest one, and it's good. Yeah, I like this game. I love all those physics effects of those tiny pieces falling. It's brilliant. It's your grave. Jack it up all you want, he says. Yeah. That's fantastic. So I don't like big bosses in these games, though, because if you've noticed, I get smacked around. Big it's bosses aren't as fun as uh, little baby friend bosses. This guy's going to start doing some attacks that that you need to use a Devil Breaker to escape from or, or take damage. So you can do a Devil Trigger on your Devil Breaker by pressing the left bumper. It just explodes it. Yeah, and it will, it will blow up your Devil Breaker. And every one of them has... Some of them have unique... I might uh, get nabbed here. But they, you can fire it off into him like that. Yeah, this you've got so much health. This boss is like... This boss is such a chump. One thing about Devil May Cry is they do they do a really good job of making you uh, making you feel like you're tough because you're struggling. You got to got to struggle against this guy. Mega Man laser. Oh yeah, yeah, the Mega available. Buster. Shoot him in the butt. Oh my God, using the grappling hook to pull yourself in. So they do a good job of making you feel like you're struggling because you take so little health off with each hit that it just it feels like super dynamic to get a bunch of hits and then actually see a chunk come out of that massive life bar. It's another one of the the, the, the myriad joys of Devil May Cry. Yeah, it's... Oh, I should have gone away. Yeah, he... Uh, he telegraphs that for a while. Oh my god. Did some enemy step right there, which is just like really good. What does Tomboy do again? It kind of sucks. Oh, it like insta revs your fucking sword and stuff. Yeah, rev it up. Which is good. So if you use your Devil Breaker and then you t take damage, it will break the Devil Breaker. So you need to switch off to something else. In case anyone viewing does not notice that. So see, your Devil Breaker just got broke because she got hit while used while it was equipped. Look at his weird hamburger fur, just jittering in the phantom wind. Oh, big stomach math. Screaming flames. Yeah. Oh, that bad juice tornado. I don't have a big double breaker line around. Oh, there's a the health. Yeah, so I'm just letting my combo die and getting back into it. Oh, there's one. There's a DB. There's a Gerber. Yeah. yeah. Oh, excellent. So, like, what if I... So, if I charge up Gerber, actually... I wanted to show, show this off because it's just... Yeah, I love that laser. Big old laser. Yeah, these Devil Breakers are real chill. Oh, I got broke. Yeah, so, I don't know. That was like a nice way to kind of maybe build up a combo, but I kind of fucked it. You're on a C now. It's building up. Oh, uh, he's dead. Nah, so I think like this whole chapter will be like an A or something. Let's find Which out. Which isn't brilliant, but whatever. So about what percentage of the way through the game would you say you acquire... The man himself, Dante. Man, like maybe two thirds or something like that. About um, two thirds. Because there's there's a fair amount of playing as V, um, who we'll show off in a second, and then after we do a little bit of V, I think that's when we'll call it. Cause like, look. Yeah, V's missions up. are. Uh, oh, here's V. Oh, V. I guess I want to turn on the Japanese voices and see what he's reading. So somebody's saying that they're having fun, but no checkpoints and no continues makes them something something. There are continues though. You can s you can spend red orbs that you get to like if you die to get back up from where you're at with a certain percentage of health or double trigger or things like yeah. that. Yeah. So. Or you can quit. 
start the mission over and keep all the red orbs that you got and right. just grind for more. Any single time that you get get a red orb in this game, like even if you die, you keep it. Um, it's not like, oh, I died and I'm back at a checkpoint and I lost all my orbs. I mean, I, I, per them. I personally feel yeah, you just keep every red orb you ever pick up no matter what happens. Even if you unplug your console, it's safe. It's saving them very tenaciously. Um, I, I, I actually thought the game was like slightly too easy on Devil Hunter. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to enjoy, like, I'm sloppy, I'm streaming, I'm talking, like, I wish I was playing a little bit better, but I think when I sit down in the higher difficulty and start to really kind of crack into it, I think I'm going to have a really good time. Yeah. It's, uh, it's sweet. But, uh, yeah, if, if you think it's, like, too hard to play, but you're interested in getting into super technical character action games I think you can grind through this yeah, you'll pretty be well use the red orbs to buy more health bars if you absolutely have to you can buy a, a bunch of health bars real early I forget if the next mission is V if not we're gonna it is, have to it is. Cause otherwise it's like we're gonna have to drop to the character select screen and there might be spoilers there now look at that sweet panther We know. Yeah, what is he? What's his name? Oh, I love how they always show that it says Devil May Cry on the tires. Very good, though. <laughs> like it's gotta. Yeah. Six, my God. Yeah, so that's when you start to learn um, and get, like, new devil triggers as the game progresses. Like, each boss you beat, you get a new thing. Up your butt. Focus on the mission. Focus on the mission. What is the mission? What kill. Is, what is V? The mission is kill. I love that glass blowing up at the end of every level. Oh, really? S rank. S for sizzling. Didn't feel good on that boss, but you know, I did get to use the uh, that nice uh, Gerbera. Let's face it, that boss was an idiot. Flying Hunter, is this is this Nero, or do we actually have to go back to the menu? Um, I forget. Or yeah, I don't remember who this next. Uh, oh wait, yeah, yeah. This is oh, this is another Nero. This is where you use the grappling hook. Oh, so let, we'll hop to V. Um, I'm yeah, gonna give I'm over. gonna give guys like a preemptive spoiler warning in the sense that um, hop on over to Big Boy V. That uh, the the character you get more characters show up and uh, they might be on the character select. Just screen. Just don't look so at like, the character select. Just don't yeah, look at the yeah. screen for if, a couple of minutes, everybody. Yeah. So let's go back to the main menu. Or the double M, as I call it. Yeah, um, we're doing our best to not give away stuff, and I'm just I don't know. I'm doing my best in general. The game's weird. Like sometimes it just shows random characters from or throughout the story, and I don't want to give anything away. Uh, mission select. Yeah, let's go to the first mission with V. Yeah, I love V. Yeah, I think it's important that we show off him, and then if you're curious about how Dante plays and you want to see like some actual like really good combos, because um, it's kind of hard to live stream and do this. Um, we put out a video, uh, you and me, showing off a lot of that, which is pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah, just going wild on it. Just going whole hog. Uh, Eating the entire hog, using every part of the... Bananas town. Using every part of the hog. But for now, we have a more pressing engagement. A more pressing engagement. I like how V is like, he just brought back the whole Hot Topic shopper aesthetic. I love it. I like V a lot. Yeah, V owns. He's uh, like, all these uh, characters uh, are fantastic. And yeah, um, I suspect within the, ne the next 24 or 48 hours, like all those YouTubers who do nothing but devote themselves to like Bayonetta in these games are just going to crack this thing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. and, like, the runniest, most delicious egg. It's going to be really, really cool. Yeah, I'm going to watch some of those. Yeah, I like watching that sort of stuff. The same way that I like watching people do, like, super bizarre, strange, high-level, dishonored gameplay. Yeah. One of, one of my favorite thought experiments to have when talking to 
games. See, the, it, this mission lets you walk for three seconds before a quick fade to black and then a cutscene introducing monsters. If only it had been a cut. But one of my favorite things to talk about with, uh, uh, in terms of like game design thought experiments is like, what is a, I mean, we know what esports are. What, what is a one player esport, right? You know? I guess. That's all I've got. I don't know. That's all I I've got. I think Devil May Cry it. comes close to being a one player esport. You know what I mean? Oh, look at that shot. Because you're getting your triple S, you're getting your combos, you're getting your numbers. Yeah. You could say something like Pac Man. I mean, some, <laughs> Maybe. somebody could say Pac Man's a one player esport. No, that's just like a. That's an arcade high score. That's a scoreboard game. Whereas this has all the nuance and the expressiveness and depth and whatnot. So these things is that you need to weaken enemies. Yeah. So V actually can't attack enemies directly. Well, he sort of can. He needs to use his Pokemons to get them into this mode where you have the squiggling red circle as your lock on. Right. Reticle. Um, and you can expend some. Look at these guys emerging from these pools of blood. Hot, bubbling blood. Oh, yeah. He just, like, jams his cane into them. Yeah. That's so an S-Rank. He's, he's super fun to play as. Um, a, a lot of the things that I think are really interesting about V is the fact that he's so focused on just, like, standing in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Um, which is a very different experience than playing as somebody like Nero or Dante because the thing that you're doing with them constantly is, like, getting in enemies' faces. But with V, like, you can just chill back in certain spots. And, yeah, and do some stuff, and it's really interesting. It, it feels very different um, to play as him compared to. It's just a lot about positioning and space. Yeah, a lot of the uh, the characters that you've um, come to know in this series. Some people are pointing out that the Panther is straight up a boss from Devil May Cry One. Yeah, it's what's V's deal? Like, what's going on? Yeah, what is going on with him? Maybe players will find out. One thing you like to do too is uh. You read the book. Read the book and get your devil trigger up. You hold R2 to charge your devil trigger meter. That's that purple meter up there. And uh, the way he charges is by reading a book. And then also your devil trigger does this, which is your big... Uh, big buddy. Chaos big, is his buddy. name. Because, of course, he's just made out of weird sort of like turdy styrofoam. It it's so like. funny, though. So one of the things with V is like if you rush it and like just explode all your stuff at once, like that was only a B rank because... I'm beating up people so quickly with so many things that I'm not actually doing enough combo stuff to yeah. actually build up your meter. So, like, you save that double trigger for the times when you really need it. Oh, this is when you first play the game, this is where they unlock the double trigger. They don't let you use right. it before this, uh, the first time you play through. So, this is like they, they force you to use one. Oh, all the animations on everything are just perfect. It's perfect animations on everything. Even like when the uh, when the panther does the uh, he has that weird hedgehog move. You know, with the spikes. Can you make him do that? Uh, yeah. If you hold. Yeah, hold the button down. Oh, uh, that's like it's if you lock on and move forward. Well, if you, if just, you hold, let's, let's, I don't even care about my score right yeah, now. Hold, hold and then it. like uh, watch what he does. Yeah. Yeah, he does that. I love that. I love how it's like this weird low frame rate thing. Uh, there's a lot of like, he has a lot of cool low frame rate moves where it's just very jittery and skittery looking. Yeah, everything gets a little kind of artistically low frame rate. It looks really cool. Stop motioning. Yeah, he's just a. It's just well animated. Yeah. For something that you view primarily from a distance, it's an incredible level of attention to it's detail. It's really, really cool. Um, all the each of these characters has different things. Like if you charge up, so he can do that. But now that we're not in combat and it's not as finicky, it's that right there, which is very yeah. Look at that wild very, thing. Very, very cool. Um, and that's actually powered up quite a bit. It gets bigger when you level it up. It's a, <laughs> it's it's kind of weird to. It starts out a lot smaller. Than yeah, that. yeah. You can kind of expand the scale of it and everything, which is really good. This cutscene to show you this important red globule that you definitely saw right here. Once again, some. It zooms in. Just some. That's yeah. another. Oh, that's gross looking. That I love do. it. That's 
Y, Y, and then Y, Y. Like, so it's all timing. So it's if I say like a combo is Y, 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 it's like that's a very basic one, but that's like Y, pause, Y, Y, Y. Yeah, Devil May Cry combos tend to. Uh, they're weird. They're they, very, have, they have pauses. They're very simple, but they're all just based on timing. Um, yeah, it's, it's press attack, pause, press attack two more times, press attack and twice, then, And then a lot of pause. like a lot of like back forward movements. So like, hey, I want to do this uppercut thing. So it's like back forward then strike or something. Yeah, when when locked on, you would then enter a mode where your character is back stepping. So right, you do a quick back forward. Yeah, every character has you a back to, forward. You have to unlock this run ability, but it's, it's cheap. So good. Yeah, it's you can get it for peanuts basically. Yeah, especially I unlocked it like before ever playing as him, and then I was like, oh, I already had the orbs to unlock his run. Yeah, well, I mean they give you so many orbs, which is great. Uh, they give you these stupid. That darn bird loves killing. He just kind of laughs in this loud crow cackle. It's, uh, he's really fun. If you can't memorize the combos, so there is one thing I'll show off very briefly, which I don't recommend you use, is game options. There's an auto assist option, which will automatically do some combos for you. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like that. I'm never going to um, turn that on. I think the point of these games is to slowly understand, Here, no. like, your character's body and the movements. Um, mm -hmm. And just sort of start to figure out the skills that you like and the strategies you like. And I think that an auto assist thing is good for beginners who just kind of maybe want to get through the experience, but doesn't really capture what the feeling of playing a character action game actually is. Um, you know, I think you want to have some level of deliberation and like tactical moment, like decision making when you're playing these games. And I uh, don't know how often you. really get that um yeah v is really tricky to get the the s ranks with um might be able to do it here because each of his finishers is worth yeah it does a good boost yeah because uh, we still have a fair amount of a fight going on too it's just it's it's easy when you first start playing as him to just think that you can just kind of mash the buttons on your two buddies because and you're then not. Also, it's like double trigger that stuff because now there's enough enemies on the screen that it's gonna matter. Yeah, and you can little. do you can do like an intermediate double trigger where you just charge up one of your guys. Right. So the reason why I'm saying like save double trigger for all of these dudes is just because like you see how all of those explosions start to really scatter people, and then you can. Yeah, if you like bank up a bunch of finishers real fast, you can. Uh... Yeah. Uh, right. It's just yeah. Um, so if I was a little faster there, maybe I would have gotten a, do a double S or something. Um, but the uh, reason why you save up double trigger, uh, I almost said double trigger uh, with him, is that you just want as many enemies on screen to cause as much havoc at once to really build that meter fast. Um, if you waste it on like one or two enemies, kind of like we showed before, you just don't build enough um, meter for it to like, really matter. Yeah. But you can juggle people in the air like that, and then going like that and then you know if this guy was going to get close maybe I could do a shield thing someone in the chat asks what if you can't memorize the combos well they're all one button yeah, it's, yeah it really it, is and once you play the game it's like you're not even really talking like if someone asks you how do I do this one combo you're just like uh, I don't know you just like generally memorize the feel of it it's a game of texture Right, um, and then with V, like the big thing is like I fucked up there is just like just don't get hit, and then if you're yeah, not you keep him out of danger. It has weird, uh, it kind of has a weird feeling of like zoning, almost. Uh, well, because so many of the abilities like do that sort of thing, right? Which is just yeah, the uh, Griffin has a but I'm he has like a space controlling here. move where you press like lock on back forward uh, X to do a. Uh, He'll set up lightning bolts like a, a force field that goes out in a big right. V shape. Can you can you make him do that? I don't know. Like kind of that yeah, one. there it is. There yeah. it is. So that's so, that's so like, like your space the, control move. I knew the skill you're talking about. Yeah, that move's cool. 
So like I can get back into what's kind of like a, oh they're in weird spots I can't capture them. Yeah, with my attacks. A little weird collision garbage zone. Yeah, so that was maybe not what I wanted it to be. Um, but yeah, it's super fun to play. Uh, you know we're trying to show off some abilities so it's not maybe top tier but it's like man it's great it's it's really fun let's just kind of keep on going a little bit further and kind of go from there um, uh, more to kill yeah i just i find this whole design very very pleasant i think he's a very interesting action game character he feels like I mean, there's a little bit of kind of an RPG, like a modern action RPG element to him and that he's remote controlling two dudes. Yeah, you could see games based upon like weird minion management doing all sorts of things. Yeah, but he never, never feels like he's not in an action game. It never feels like not an action game. So it's like you've got your two buddies are moving semi-intelligently and you're just telling them what to do and when to do it. And while simultaneously worrying about where you yourself are. So it's so like I want to make sure that that dude doesn't get too close or whatever. Mhm. Mm it puts your brain in three places at like once. Like you can run as him, but he's kind of frail and all your abilities are really targeted. Yeah. So you really So when he does the finisher, he zooms in really fast. He uh, he can lock on and then pretty much teleport if the enemy has low enough health. Yeah. Well, you sometimes, can even do it when the enemy doesn't have a lot of Sometimes the collision gets a little weird. Uh, so, like, that should have been it right there. There have been a couple of moments when I have lock-on targeted and zoomed in at a guy who was not almost dead just so I could get somewhere else very fast. Yeah. In which case, like, you'll hit them with the staff but bounce off. And, and you can use that to, so, like, see, I was going to maybe get hit there. Oh, the triple thing, S. And the thing I did was... Smoking like, sexy style. Kind of sneak my way out of there. Big old panther boy is good at juggling. Back down uh, to double. I missed, yeah, I missed uh, my attack there as well. So you'll notice too, he actually destroyed uh, Your my panther. Dead. I can't target him right now. There we go. I lost all my combo because I couldn't target him. So uh, sometimes your your buddies will get knocked out, and the thing that you want to do is just stand near them. Just go stand by them. Be their friend for a little bit. And then you're good to go. Uh, it revives them faster. There's an ability to make it go faster. Yeah, we'll only end on an A there because we just kind of murder mess that up. I think we have a boss coming up, and then that's probably a good place to end it. Yeah, I like this dumb boss that yeah, you fight here. It's, it's a good it's boss. A good, good boss for showing off kind of V's abilities. Because it's a boss who has multiple body parts. Yeah, just all these different things you can target. Uh, I like running into the orbs and just yeah. getting them right away, which is this thing's nice. actually super fun because it it drifts and surfs and. Uh, Skates. It actually kind of feels like you're on a skateboard. <laughs> like it's, it's like nuanced and difficult to turn around. It's it's really good. Yeah, it has a nice uh, kind of sense of momentum to it. I love it. Kind of scoots around and everything. Oh, I love this guy. The bird is just like such a snazzy little. So look, look at this cool effect, this weird claymation effect of his Kinda his ripply. skin just rippling and jib. Yeah. Reminds me of some of the enemy effects in uh, Bullet Witch. Just a bad guy made out of freak jello. I love it. So hopefully we'll do okay here. Um, bosses are where I falter kind of the most in this game sometimes. This is a big boy boss too. You got to take out his uh, multiple heads and his body. You can kind of rip this guy up, though, if you use your, your lightning orb zoning. Yeah, you take these guys out. Take out the tentacles, yeah, stab them, I'm shoot the dude. I'm not always good at targeting the people I want. I just go uh, I just go devil trigger and just rip this thing up and then yeah, charge up my... Uh, I want to save that. I like to charge up uh, my crow to give him, give him a boost. And then have him just keep doing the. Uh, if my panther had to do but attack the fucking thing. Well, what's he doing up there? Thank you, bud. Jeez. There you have it. Sitting here. 
So smoothly moving, these rippling, liquidy tentacles. Just drooping and dripping down from the sky. My buds are, like, not attacking great right now, though. Yeah, what's going on with that? Uh, I'm running into a little bit of jank, which happens. And then this is, like, when I would really want my double triggers, just, like, to go whole hog. Yeah, to get just blaster bonkered on it. I love his his just god soldier laser attack. Oh, he died already. My bird or the other big guy? boy. You gotta get some book read, yo. It's true. I gotta get some learning. So on the regular controller, in order to lock on and read the book at the same time, you have to use the index finger and the middle finger right. on your right hand. Sorry, I'm getting distressed. This to hold good. those two triggers, the trigger and the bumper. And then you've got to be dancing your thumb across the X and Y buttons yeah. to attack as your two little the, buddies. The more you talk about what I have to do with my controls, the more I'm freaking out. Oh, yeah. It's a it's a lot of, of, of hand business. Yeah. And a lot of brain business as well. I'm sitting here like, oh, God, what do I have to do? This uh, game is giving all of your body's various micro appendages uh, just different things to think about. Thinking of the two different things your thumb has to do. Punch it. The, the the golem takes so long to wake up after he's summoned. Ooh. Scorched. Oh, this guy's owned. He's owned on an S. He's owned on an S. Get him. Can my buddy do like an uppercut here and just finish it? No. There you go. Oh my god. Yeah. So it stumbled a bit, but you know. Owned on a single S is good. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Right. Summoned his cane back. The movies have taught me anything. It's that pulling the blade out hurts worse than stabbing it in. So I'm told. I don't know. Is I've, that true? I've never been stabbed in the stomach or the heart or the head or any of that stuff. One day, we can always dream. We can always dream. Galici. I'm thinking of that because I'm thinking of uh, Kingslayer. Kingslayer. Oh. The Dothraki fear any water that horses cannot drink, Galici. Uh, that's Sir Jorah Mormont. Not, that's, I know, not that's the, not Kingslayer. the Kingslayer. Jorah. And then they run away. Oh, there's a monster. You get to fight this big monster as Nero, and it's actually a boss fight that I really like. Gilgamesh. Um, it's a really good fight. Uh, so let's see what the rank is here. And then I think that pretty much ends it That's for an us S. Today, yeah? I'm just kidding. That's um, an A. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was right the first time. I should have stayed. Well, we had those middle points Ooh, where like, things were kind of weird. Collect yeah. more than one million red orbs. There you have it. So easy to get red orbs in this game. We would estimate this is about how what like 16, 18 hours of play. You got Something a million like orbs. That. Yeah, yeah. I bet Everybody, you do the math. People could really do a whole lot more. Do the math and see how much a million red orbs. Uh, how many orbs per hour you get? <laughs> yeah. Um. In the meantime, I think that's it. I think we're good. Oh yeah. I like this game. Well, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Daddy's Bingo. Yeah. Thanks, guys. For this special Thursday episode. Nice long. Delicious, stylish. Uh, I just took the last sip of my cup of coffee and I ended up with a whole bunch of chewy stuff in my mouth because there's a million big old hard black peppercorn kind of grains of coffee just kind of floating around it's, at the bottom. It's just how it goes sometimes here in Daddy's Bingo. Coffee so hard, your teeth are going to say, please no more. Gameplay so fun that you're going to be begging for more. Begging for more. Little Caesar's Pizza. Devil May Cry. Michelin Star. Ah, delicious. See you around, guys. Yeah. Stay tuned to Kotaku.com because it's good for you. It is. <laughs>